Hi, this is Julie Harlan. Please visit my website at yourmathgal.com where I organize my videos by topic. A fraction that contains one or more fractions in either its numerator or denominator, denominator or both, is called a complex fraction. So below are five examples. The first example, we have 3 fourths over 5 eighths, so it has a fraction in the numerator and a fraction in the denominator. The second one, there's an x alone in the numerator, but in the denominator, there's two terms, 2 minus x over 3, so there's a fraction there. And you can see from the third, fourth, and fifth examples, I have um, fractions in both the numerator and denominator. Complex fractions are not in simplified form. That means we can simplify further, so they don't look complex. And there are two commonly employed methods we could use. And these are um, a quick overview of the two methods. The first method is to write both the numerator and denominator as single terms or fractions. And then you'll multiply the numerator by the reciprocal of the denominator. The only one in the examples above where you already have the numerator and denominator written as a single term or fraction is the very first one. We have just a single fraction in the numerator, 3 fourths, and a single fraction in the denominator, 5 eighths. All of the rest of them are not in that form. If you look at the uh, fourth example, 1 over x minus 2 over x squared in the numerator, there are two fractions in that numerator separated by a subtraction sign, so that's not a single fraction. And in method two, you don't need to have it in the form as the very first example up here. Instead, um, to simplify the complex fraction, the first step would be to multiply the numerator and denominator by the least common multiple of all the denominators of all the fractions in the numerator and the denominator. Right, we're going to do this example, another complex fraction. So notice we have a simple fraction in the numerator and a simple fraction in the denominator. In other words, it's not like more than one term. So the method one is going to be pretty simple here. We're going to do 2 over 2x plus 1 divided by 5 over 2x plus 1. Now remember, 2x plus 1 is one factor, okay? It, you cannot cancel the 2 in this first fraction in the numerator with the 2 that's the coefficient of x. So now we have 2 over 2x plus 1 times the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we have a 2x plus 1 in the numerator over 5. So I'm going to write these binomials is a 2x plus 1. And now you can cancel those common factors. So the answer to this problem is simply 2x. Now, we could also simplify this complex fraction by using method 2. So there's only one denominator in both the numerator and denominator, and it's 2x plus 1. So that's the least common multiple. So the second method, remember what you do, is you multiply the whole numerator and the whole denominator by the least common multiple. I'm going to write it this way. That means in the numerator here, I can multiply by 2x plus 1. You could write that over 1, and the numerator here, I can multiply by 2x plus 1. So if you want, you could write over 1. That's up to you. But I've multiplied the whole numerator and the whole denominator by 2x plus 1. So I can cancel here. This method will always um, give you um, no more fractions in the numerator, no more fractions in the denominator. Something will be able to cancel. All right. So what do we end up with here? I end up with just a 2 over 1, which is, of course, a 2. And like I said, it's not a fraction anymore in the numerator. And only a 5 in the denominator. So our answer is 2 fifths. Either way we do it.